My name is Kim Ovely. I'm the Vice President of Public Policy for the Chamber of Commerce of Southwest Indiana. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Will Singleton, who is a candidate seeking election to the Office of School Board. Please note that the same set of questions will be used for all candidates running for this office. Welcome, Will. Thanks. All right, let's get started. Okay. Please state your name, office you're seeking, and your current position in employment. My name is Will Singleton, running for school board of District 3 for Vandere County. Currently work as a mechanical designer for Wilderman and Associates, and I'm also the president of board of directors for Perry Township Fire Department on the west side. Okay. Well, what actions would you propose as a school board member to retain our existing teaching talent? Teachers got into teaching to help people and to educate people. They didn't get into it for the money. Obviously, you need money to survive. Um, teachers need to be respected and know that their ideas and thoughts count toward education. I think the school board needs to, and the administrators, need to listen to the teachers more of what they need and help them teach. That's what they want to do is teach. Okay. As the ISTEP test scores, are increasing, what actions do you propose to continue the positive upswing and guard against complacency, especially since the Indiana's 293 public school districts, Evansville was ranked 278, which is 59.9%, only 59.9% who passed both language and arts, language arts and math sections. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It, it's my personal opinion the ISEP's a flawed test. Uh, the teachers are basically required to teach the test to get their students to pass the test. Um, that hurts the students in the long run because they're taught the how and not the why of subjects. Um, if teachers were given the opportunity to educate like they want to, the, te the students would be better prepared for future testing in life. We need to allow the teachers to teach the subject, not teach the test. Okay. Now that the EBSC has dipped into the rainy day fund for existing projects, how do you propose for those funds to be replenished, or do you believe that they should be replenished? In the tough budget the EBSC has now, I don't see a way to replenish those funds without cutting more education. Um, where the ready day fund is now is fine. Um, I don't see how they can realistically add to that ready day fund without cutting more services to the students. What items would you add to or trim off of the school budget? In a perfect world where money didn't matter, <laughs> um, music, education, arts, speech and debate, theater, life skills that students really need in the world today. Right. Now that the state law requires teachers to be evaluated, what do you think about it and how would you go about implementing it? I think everybody in the job needs to be evaluated for their position. Um, it lets the good rise to the top and maybe help re-educate or reteach the teachers that aren't doing a good job. Uh, it needs to be done by their peers, other teachers that know what they face day to day, um, not an administrator that doesn't know what happens in that classroom. Um, that peers need to be strict enough on each other that they get a true representation of what's going on and the teacher need not fear that that's going to come back and bite them in the end. Okay. How do you feel about teachers not being part of a union? Personally, I think it's their opinion. Um, it's their option. There's good and bad to both sides of it. I'm not a teacher, so I haven't been in that position. Um, I know some teachers want it for the protection. Um, it's, it's their personal preference, and I don't mind either way. So. Okay. Well, Will, we greatly appreciate your time today. If you have a campaign website or contact information that you'd like to share, please do so now. Okay. The website, www.votesingleton.org, and also a Facebook page, uh, Singleton for You 2012. Okay. Thanks again for your participation. Okay. Thank you.